So you're thinking of moving to New Orleans, Louisiana, well you've come to the right place because this channel, all that we cover is anything and everything New Orleans, Louisiana, as well as the surrounding suburbs. Where to live, where to eat, what you can get different houses at different price points. Every single week, I'm gonna be giving you the scoop, so let's dive in right now. If it's your first time to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so that you can be up to date on anything and everything New Orleans, and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified every time a new video drops. My name is Stephanie, and I've been helping clients for 18 years with their smooth move to the New Orleans area, and I wanna help you. Give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email so I can help you with your smooth move to New Orleans. Today we are on Crestview Hills Loop. This is one of our three properties we're gonna to discover today at different price points. We're in Covington, as we are covering the Covington video, obviously. Um, random thought, I was just thinking, I'm hearing dogs bark. How funny would that be if one day we get chased by a dog? That would be good, entertaining for the camera, for sure. And we'll keep you very, very, very much laughing at that point. But so we are in Covington, we are off of Highway 25, which I consider a little, consider a little more North Covington. If you kind of look around, it's a newer subdivision with some really nice clean houses. They're very similar, so it's more of a cookie cutter type of feel. There are home association dues. They're only $25 a month. This home is only listed for $295, which is around $141 a square foot. Talk about different coming out to the suburbs of Covington in comparison to the houses that we've looked at in New Orleans because those prices per square foot were insanely drastically different and those were not new construction houses. This subdivision particularly doesn't have a pool as you can probably tell because it's only a $25 a month association due. Although some of the subdivisions around here do have pools and that would be a nicer amenity. This particular house we're coming up to, we have a spacious floor plan, a durable woodlock ceramic tile throughout, which is nice. I do like that flooring. The kitchen is bright and airy with a walk-in pantry, granite countertop, stainless steel appliances, and a five burner gas range, beautiful um, well, gas range with beautiful solid wood custom built-ins in the living room and lots of storage. The house also features a large master bedroom attached with dual sinks, separate shower, soaking tub, and a huge walk-in closet, so that's nice. Another great addition is it does have a fenced-in backyard for those of you who have or love pets, or maybe you have children, it's very nice to have that fenced-in backyard with this newer construction home. It's also nice because if you go completely new construction with the home, then in addition to the price you pay for the house, you're going to need to pay to install a fence. And let's face it, everything is so expensive these days, so that's gonna be thousands of extra dollars out of your pocket. Let's kind of check out the front of this house so you can see what we're looking at and talking about. Now this house is about 50 minutes to downtown New Orleans. So if you don't wanna live in New Orleans, you wanna kind of live outside of New Orleans, this is a good option. It's also about 50 minutes from the airport in case you travel for leisure or for work. And that'll depend of course on the traffic times. But we do have what's called the Lake Pontchartrain and we have the Causeway Bridge. And that's either a 23 or 24 mile bridge that you'll have to cross in order to get to the South Shore. We're called the North Shore over here um, in order to commute to New Orleans. And that bridge does have a toll. Of course, tolls change in prices through the years, but if you have a tag, I believe it's about three bucks a day. And if you don't have a tag, I believe it's gonna run you about $5 a day for that. So if you're looking for employment, you wanna make sure you're factoring in those extra costs of living over here, driving over there, gas, mileage, wear and tear, and don't forget those uh, tolls as well. That's our home first home, so stay tuned, we're on to number two. All right, for stop number two, we are on South Louisiana Street. This is more considered Old Covington, which is closer to downtown Covington. The first house was more North Covington. This particular house is listed for 530,000. Now that's a little more per square foot than the last house. This per square foot is 222 a square foot. It's built in 1951 and has 2380 
seven square feet. We're gonna kind of walk around and show you a little bit of the neighborhood, a little bit of what the neighbor's homes look like and what you can expect. I love the nature in this area. Look at how there are so many trees and can you imagine we're filming in November, but what if this was spring or summer? I mean, there's gotta be so much beauty and so many flowers and just some really great landscaping that's very appealing that will go along in this area. I'm more partial to like the less cookie cutter, the more rural kind of, kind of spaces, the unique different houses. That's what really appeals to me. Um, of course, you might be having a different view and that's totally cool. But um, I like that this is close to downtown Covington because as I mentioned, there's so much stuff to do there. So if you wanna go have lunch with a friend, grab coffee with a friend, like you've got a lot of options to choose from. One of the treats for today's video is we're gonna go stop in um, to one of my favorite restaurants in downtown Covington. You can check that out to see if that might be a good place for you to take a friend and so on and so forth. Even though we're still in Covington and even though it's a little different area, I'm gonna say that we're still around 50 minutes to the airport, we're still around 50 minutes to downtown New Orleans. Don't forget about that Causeway Bridge. Don't forget about that toll as well. This property has a little bit bigger of a yard, so a little bit more maintenance um, for this particular property itself. Let me give you a little bit about the description. So it's located in the old Covington area. We've got hardwood floors, breathtaking chef's kitchen, gorgeous wood ceilings in the dining room. I love wood ceilings. Designer finishes, multiple patio spaces with fans for entertaining in both the front and backyard. The master bedroom includes huge bathroom with a beautiful soaking tub, large separate shower, and a vanity. The master bedroom also has direct laundry room access, which is convenient. I've had that in one of my houses before. Very convenient. Which also has outdoor access as well from that master bedroom. There's a spacious screened-in porch with a fan, a one-car garage, Stunning side entrance with lush greenery. Again, we're filming in November, but can you imagine in the spring how beautiful this is? Looks like some azaleas and stuff over on the right-hand side over here are probably some azaleas and those bloom like so much and just so pretty as well. So you've got that also. And there's other, some great amenities to this house. I think a positive thing is a corner lot. I always think that's a really good benefit um, when you're on the corner lot. So that's the scoop for this particular house. Very pretty, very nice, very different from what we looked at before. A little closer to the downtown area, more in the old Covington area, and still a great bargain for your buck. For this third stop, we're in Natchez Trace. Now, this is not North Covington. It's not downtown Covington. It's not old Covington. It's just another part of Covington. I'm actually gonna give you a little bonus for this one because as we were driving through, we discovered there's another house in here for less than 500,000, while this one is 899.5. Now, literally the market is so hot that I just did the research on this house and it's already got sold marked on the sign, so it must have just recently happened. Now, this neighborhood is very nice. They have different price points as you'll see when I'll show you the 899 and I'll show you the 489 house as well. It is a gated subdivision, which is nice and safe. Two additional bonuses is within two miles of this subdivision are two different great private schools to choose from. One is Lake Castle. I wanna say the reference point is maybe around 5,000 a year for tuition, but don't quote me on that. And then there's also one of the top rated schools in the area, Christ Episcopal. And that one's probably more like 10 to 12 if I had to guess. I haven't researched the, that one in a while because my daughter is now off to college. So lucky me or maybe not lucky me, depending upon how you're looking at that. Anyway, the other really great thing I love about this subdivision is when I say you make a right and you are literally in shopping haven, like for real, you've got Target, you've got gas stations, you've got Belk, you've got Chick-fil-A, which everybody seems to love these days. You've got JCPenney, you've got Best Buy, You've got um, Cracker Barrel, if that's your thing. Um, you've also got some boutique restaurants as well, in addition to those big box, like the Cracker Barrels and things of that. Um, there's some hair salons around, like literally right around the corner. There is so much to do, see, have, and be able to utilize if you are into the shopping. You're still gonna be around 50 minutes or so to New Orleans, around 50 minutes or so to the airport. 
You still got that causeway to travel, of course. And I, I don't know which one I'm more partial to. This is one of my favorite subdivisions. I'm not really a big subdivision person. I'm more of like a country type of person, but this is one of the subdivisions that I do prefer because as you can see, even though the houses are somewhat close together, I feel like the lots are a little bit bigger. And so with that being said, it feels more spread out and it doesn't feel like you are so on top of each other. So let me show you the actual house that I was coming to show you today and give you the scoops on the scoop on that. Cost is $899,500. Just ignore this truck rolling by and a car is gonna follow. Five bedroom, four and a half bathrooms. Built in 2013, 4,203 square feet. Price per square foot, 214. I think that's pretty reasonable for the comparables that we've seen. We've got homeowners dues of 75 a month. This is a fantastic location, gated community called Natchez, Natchez Trace. This house has a gorgeous gourmet kitchen, tons of seating at the bar, and a large island. Built-in champagne and wine fridge, tons of storage. 12-foot ceilings, plantation shutters throughout. Two dining areas, two living areas, and two fireplaces. Oh my, that's nice. You've got tons of storage, a private library on top of everything else. A great master bedroom, an outdoor kitchen with a 751 square foot tiled terrace. That's an extra bonus. Large backyo backyard and patio for entertaining with additional covered space. There's a convenient mudroom with drawers, hangers, and shelves. You've got a whole house generator. That is very helpful when it comes to hurricanes, a whole house generator. The roof is only two years old. New landscaping with sprinkler systems, alarms, camera systems, and it's got a two car garage. We are about 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes from the downtown cover the downtown Covington area that we've been talking about that we've been seeing and that we'll have lunch at uh, in just a few minutes for you to check out next we're going to be on to the next house number four the bonus house to show you that you can get in the subdivision below 500,000 even though you've got houses approaching the cost of a million dollars this is number four as promised this is new construction it's for 489,000 and change I love the colors. I'm really digging this bluish gray along with the white. As you can see, it's a lot smaller than the $900,000 home, but still to be in a subdivision that has a great range and you're on the lower end, in my opinion, that would be a really good investment to make. So if you're interested in this subdivision, you're interested in new construction below the $500,000 point, this is an idea of what you might be able to get. Our pit stop for today is at Del Porto, which is one of my favorite restaurants in downtown Covington, within walking distance from show, so many shops and actually from my office, which is very convenient as well. It's mostly an Italian flair with lots of other good options. You have to definitely try some of their fresh fruit martinis. One of my favorites is the grapefruit martini. Oh my gosh, never a disappointment but they've got other ones such as lemon lavender, satsuma, and even watermelon that are also seasonal. Uh, on the menu today, I'm actually gonna get the house-made cavatelli where they're making their own cheese, they're making their own pasta. So besides the house-made cavatelli, which is what I'm having today, it's actually not one of my favorites. My two favorites are the chicken breast melonese salad, and my other favorite is the poached yard egg salad. You're also not gonna go wrong if you get the infantini of roasted red peppers, because that's pretty amazing too. And the extra bonus is they do all go very well with that wonderful grapefruit martini. Thanks for watching the video today. Don't forget, I wanna help you with your smooth move to New Orleans. Give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email, and I look forward to seeing you around town.